Hi, this is Digital Femme. Welcome to Overland, the ubiquitous metaverse. If this is your first time uh, coming onto my channel, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Why? Because I talk about the metaverse, NFTs, and in particular, the project OVR.ai. And if you want to know more about that project, you can click right up here and watch the intro, but don't forget to come back to this video. I'm here online and I found out this news. And let me see if I could share my screen. So I came across this. Australian Open joins the metaverse by partnering with Decentraland. So if you're into tennis, or even though you're not, you should know that there are about four or five huge tennis tournaments. And the tennis tournament that kicks off the year 2022 is the Australian Open. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is it's interesting how Decentraland manages to get different brands onto their platform. I believe last week there was news online about Samsung creating one of their headquarters in Decentraland, and it's only going to be for a limited time. And now the Australian Open is here. So if we can go read this, it says one of the world's biggest tennis tournaments, Australian Open, is entering both the NFT and metaverse side of the cryptocurrency industry. So apparently this year's championship will also be held in Decentraland. And it says here at the same time, fans will be able to participate further by buying NFTs linked to live match data. Now, I don't know what that's going to be all about, but let's see. Oh, here it is. Owners will also receive an airdrop with footage of the point, virtual wearables, and other benefits in the future. Okay, so the organizers of the Australian Open and Decentraland are creating some kind of utility with these NFTs that uh, they're going to be putting out. Interestingly, it says here that the non-fungible tokens will be tracked by the same technology employed to judge the matches in game points. Wow. And apparently the NFTs, which are called Artball NFTs, will go on sale January 10th, which is probably happening in a few hours because it's going to be morning in Australia. While the Australian Open Decentraland event goes live on January 17, which is the same day that the championship actually opens, which is the same day that the physical tournament actually starts. So who else partnered with Decentraland? Ah, here it is. Exactly what I said earlier, Samsung. So the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I'm really amazed at how Decentraland does it. Is it because Decentraland is well known and the Australian Open reached out to Decentraland? Or is it that Decentraland is an awesome marketing team and reached out to the Australian Open? That is of particular interest to me because as you know, I am affiliated with the OVR.AI project. And in my opinion, the OVR.AI project, which is actually a wild scale metaverse all over the world that's layered, is like a no brainer in terms of using the platform to create augmented reality experiences for just everybody. Whereas Decentraland is a sandboxed metaverse, meaning people have to get an account, have to log in. You know what, now that I'm saying that, People do also need an account with OVR, but it's done with their mobile app. And it's as easy as creating a selfie by using your front-facing camera and taking it in real time or using one of your selfies that you've taken a while ago. And your face will get propagated, propagated, and your face will get propagated on an avatar. And with your avatar, you can already log on to the augmented reality created rooms that artists have made or other augmented reality experiences. And in particular, if the Australian Open were to partner with OVR, like literally on the courts where they are having their matches, they can create augmented reality experiences on the court or on the sidelines where people are watching, and they can just hold up their mobile phones and experience whatever augmented reality experience is created by the AO or any one of their sponsors. And I'm really wondering, when exactly is that tipping point? And by tipping point, I mean the tipping point in where other brands are going to start to realize what OVR is. Now, I know that I'm opening a can of worms because if there's anybody in the OVR metaverse watching this, it's going to get them frustrated knowing that there are brands partnering with Decentraland and or the Sandbox. And they're wondering why isn't 
the OVR marketing team doing anything. And all I can say is things are in the works. So obviously, the fact that the Australian Open is partnering with Decentra, and this just didn't happen a week, uh, this just didn't happen a month ago, a week ago. This probably happened over a year ago, and these things have to be planned out. So the most logical thing that the OVR marketing team is going to need to do is to start reaching out to these events or organizations like a year in advance. And you know what? Because I've already created a list of that, I might as well just get started emailing. Anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I will be talking about metaverses, NFTs, augmented reality, and most in particular, the OVR.ai platform. So wherever you are in this world, have a great day, have a great night, and see you in the next video. Bye.